Okay, college trigonometry, we're asked here to show that an equation is an identity. I guess first to say, what does that mean? What it usually means is we're asked to take the left-hand side, it doesn't have to be the left-hand side, but usually the left-hand side, and using rules of trigonometry, convert the left-hand side into the right-hand side and show how we did it. So it's not one of those things where we move things around. This is less algebraic than it looks. So, for example, I'm not going to add 1 to both sides to get this by itself. I'm not going to divide by 2. I'm only going to work on this side, and at the end, I'm hoping to impress you uh, yeah, with <laughs> proof that this in green is that thing that's, circle, that's squared off in that box. So let's, I guess, get started. I'm going to try to talk you through some of the stuff as we do it, some things to think about here. Um, one is this. Let me say this. This is called the argument. And this could be, and this is just theta to me. This is just the angular value to me. And what's important is that this one and this one are the same. It's three times whatever that angular value is. So that's really good news for us. The other thing that people really, man, it really messes with them, is that the convention of trigonometry is that if I want to say cosine 3x squared, what I really, what I say instead is cosine squared 3x. And I don't want to talk about just distributing because I'm not distributing. If I did, it would go to here and to here and to here. But what I, what do, what I do want you to get is that these two are equivalents, okay? Uh, the other thing that I want to make sure you have before we get down the road too far is that you've seen kind of the eight basic trigonometric arguments. Uh, and those are the reciprocal arguments, the tan and cotan arguments, and the three Pythagorean identities. And if you haven't seen this, you have to get those because otherwise you're going to be thinking, what, what is this guy talking about? So, and if you haven't seen this, please look those up. I did a video on those, and I think it's really helpful to have a place to start. And I typed them out for you so you could copy them to make it really easy for you. All right, so I'm going to start on this mess here. And what I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to ask you to, to, to believe with me that this one is this one, and this plus sign is this one. And then there's this Pythagorean identity that says that cosine squared x, in this case it's our x is 3x, is equal to 1 minus sine squared 3x. And if you wonder where that came from, that came from the Pythagorean, that's a Pythagorean identity where c squared equals a squared plus b squared. And if you manipulate them around using algebra, you would get back to here. So, so here's the argument. Sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. It equals 1 because of the unit circle, and it's 1 squared. So we have a squared plus b squared equals, equals c squared. Okay? So that, there's the argument, and that's where that came from. So I'm asking you to agree with me that I can replace this with 1 minus sine sine squared 3x using a Pythagorean identity. Why would I want to do that? Because look, this, the denominator is in terms of sine. So I'm just going to see what will happen if I get the whole thing in terms of sine. Also, just to be really clear about why I do what I do, I look over here, and this is cosecant, which is 1 over sine theta. So the left, the right hand side is, is kind of in terms of sine theta. So I want to get my argument there. So there's that. So I'm going to put my sine squared 3x back down here. I'm going to simplify. Remember, I have not touched this side. I'm just leaving it alone. I'm just messing with the left hand side here. So I'm going to go ahead and simplify that. And I'm going to get, I'm going to distribute this positive sign through and it does nothing, right? So it gives me 1 plus 1 minus sine squared 3x all over sine squared 3x. See this negative sign right here? I believe that this negative sign right here is this negative sign right here. I think we're getting very close to our argument. So I'm going to add here 1 plus 1 is 2, sorry, 2 minus sine squared 3x all over sine squared 3x is equal to that thing over here, which we have not changed, which is 2 cosecant squared x minus 1. Now what I'd like to do here is partition. Is partition this a little bit? And if you don't like the wording of, the, of partition, all I'm saying is break this into pieces, right? If I had 3 fourths, I could certainly break 3 fourths into 1 fourth plus 2 fourths, couldn't I? 
sorry, to force. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to ask you to allow me to break this, this over this, and then this over this. So wouldn't that look like this? Wouldn't that look like 2 over sine squared 3x minus sine squared 3x over sine squared 3x? And isn't sine squared 3x over sine squared 3x equal to 1? And I'm going to make this argument again that this negative 1 is this one. So I'm feeling like I have this thing down a little bit. The other thing I'm going to do here is this. I'm going to pull this 2 out here, and I'm going to say this is 2 times 1 over sine squared 3x minus sine squared 3x over sine squared 3x, right? And lastly, 1 over sine squared 3x is, right, is cosecant. Oh, co wow, did you, can you believe that? Cosecant, somebody caught that, is cosecant. So I have 2 times cosecant 3x, right? Cosecant 3x minus sine squared 3x over sine squared 3x is equal to 2 cosecant squared 3x minus 1. And I think I've won this fight, haven't we? Okay. Okay, I really hope this, hope, <laughs> oh, this video has been really helpful for you. Uh, trigonometry is a very difficult math, but there are certain things, and if you can gather the right pieces, you can really put this together and be really successful at it. Uh, please, if this video is helpful, will you, will you please subscribe to my channel uh, and look me up on Twitter at C. Lindelof. Appreciate it, and um, let me know. Good luck. You're doing terrific.